There's no such thing as being big boned, and here's why. Here we have a full body x-ray of a morbidly obese patient. As you can see, there is a normal sized skeleton beneath an enormous amount of soft tissue. Therefore, the patient's big size is not due to their bones, rather their large amount of soft tissue or fat. This is why there is no such thing as being big boned. My man just put on a doctor uniform, show one skeleton of one fat person and applied it to all fat people. Like, like how you gonna take one skeleton of one fat person and apply it to every single fat person ever? I'm sorry, big bone person. I'm sorry, I don't, according to him, ain't no such thing as big bone or fat. This man just said ain't no such thing as a big bone person. So if it's if you're fat, then then, then, then tough luck. And I feel like that's a little, uh, un, un, I feel like that's a little insensitive because I've been a skinny guy my whole entire life. Now I'm finally to the point where I started gaining weight, you know what I'm saying? I hit that weight room and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But one thing I have noticed is that when I look at my wrist, my wrists are actually smaller than the average person's. Or what I should say skinnier. My bones are smaller than the average person. And I'm six foot two. So to say that somebody can't be big bone is just dumb. Because we all have different bone densities and bone sizes. Trust me, there are some big bone people. And there are some heavy handed people too. Trust me, I didn't got slapped before by a heavy handed person. My guy, you need more data. You can't base every fat person off of